Japan, a nation known to be peaceful and highly organized. But how exactly does Japan maintain such an orderly society? By shaming losers in public, like in this video. <laughs> But before explaining what's happening, let's start with Hello world, this is Dean from Japan! How are you doing today? If you haven't done it already, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss the latest video. If you haven't heard about the incident surrounding this woman who looks like she's allergic to fabric, here's a quick rundown. The popular Korean DJ, DJ Soda, wrote on X I still can't get used to the name change. So she wrote on X, previously known as Twitter, on August 14th that when she approached the audience during her performance at a music festival in Osaka, Japan, people started touching her and feeling her. Upon hearing this, Japanese people online were saying that Western musicians like Lady Gaga interact with her audience all the time and that this doesn't happen. So they were saying that it's embarrassing that this happened in Japan. DJ Soda also said that this was the first time in which something like this had happened in her career. But then people started going through her past posts and found that she's a troublemaker because she got into trouble with the airline staff once by wearing pants with swear words printed. And people also found posts that could be described as anti-Japan or videos of her being touched by fans from other countries. This dude so wanted to touch her but didn't because he knew better. He knew he was being filmed but man he got some proper creep energy. So some online trolls started saying that she's purposely trying to make Japan look bad. They were saying that she shouldn't be going near excited men at a venue that serves alcohol while wearing swimsuits. Whatever people were thinking, the video went viral and I was pretty surprised that the culprits weren't identified quickly but the event organizers did file an official charge of fudoi waisetsu or indecency without consent against two men and one woman on the 21st. So I'm guessing the event organizers just wanted to take their weekends off. But these two guys, their faces were plastered all over the internet and people were saying we have to find these guys and make these creeps pay! So the name of these guys have not been published. So let's give them random names like Bob and Joe. So Bob and Joe actually filmed a YouTube video with Yuta Misaki before heading to the police station to confess their crimes. I did a video on Yuta before which you can check. It's really funny seeing him shocked. <laughs> But he's also known as Aojiru Oji, or the Prince of Green Juice. So he became rich selling these healthy green juice, right? And in the West, you guys have celebrity business persons such as Elon Musk and Mark Cuban, but I don't think any of them have a YouTube channel. But in Japan, some famous business people do start doing YouTube and become an online celebrity. And some of them even start fights over nothing, just like any other YouTubers. <laughs> <laughs> so Yuta decided to give Bob and Joe an opportunity to explain themselves and to apologize to the public. まずは2人から Dude, when you apologize in Japan, you have to bow down deeper, man. You call down apology, get out of here. You ain't Japanese, bro. Hi. いろいろ I shouldn't be laughing, but man, Yuta's face. 
I think I'll be the same as well. I will have a really difficult time not rolling my eyes. So Bob actually works while Joe is still at university, but they are both just 20 years old. They are both acting like little petrified children, but the university student is the one who really doesn't know what to do and is simply following what Bob is doing. B Yuta is actually really good. Throughout the video, this is my personal opinion, right? But I get the impression that he's going, Oh my god, you guys are so dumb. This is like talking to little kids. So kids, what did you do? And you do know that's a bad thing, right? But he really addresses all the online criticisms, such as explaining how the music festival was held near the beach, so it's completely normal for DJ Soda to wear swimsuits. And obviously, she can wear whatever she wants as a musician, but the point is, he actually addressed these online criticisms that exist. He also tells Bob and Joe that they made Japan look bad to the world, saying that people got the wrong impression of Japanese men, despite the fact that most Japanese people wouldn't grow up others. And when you want to criticize SA as a nation, I personally think that this is the best approach. Because you don't want people getting into arguments about whether or not DJ Soda said all Japanese men are bad. That kind of discussion doesn't make any change. あって、僕はやっぱ日本人の多くはそうではないと思ってるし、だから2人には本当に反省してほしいなと思います。ただこうやって勇気を出して謝罪しようと思った気持ちはそこに関しては素晴らしいと思うし。Bob explains that he got tons of messages from his friends when DJ Soda went public with what had happened and that he got scared and didn't know what to do. So he spoke to his boss, so his employer, and the boss then contacted Yuta asking for Yuta's help. ちなみに2人は仕事とか彼女とかまあいるのかわからないけど、そこはどうなんですか今後。ここまで大ごとになったらもうどうにもできないんで、この流れに乗って生きていくしかないのかなと思います。自分は大学生でこの問題でどうな
or ed or indecency. Why am I struggling with that word? <laughs> Holy crap! Why am I struggling with that word? Or oh, because I'm not indecent. I'm so super decent. But yes, they charge. They filed an official charge of fudo iwaisetsu or indecency. 